What is a Hall of Fame? By definition, a Hall of Fame is a structure housing memorials to famous or illustrious individuals. Much like the NFL or Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a Hall of Fame should consist of actual halls which enshrine the honorees with sculptures, plaques, and displays of memorabilia. The future of our Hall of Fame is just that, a place to honor the men and women who made a difference in our sport of professional wrestling. Those who entered these halls gave every ounce of their sweat, blood, and body. The injuries, long road trips, being away from family for months at a time. Tonight, we celebrate a new class into the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame, where their legacy will live on, where their hard work and contributions can be acknowledged and celebrated for generations to come. Immortality lives in the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. Someone once said, we live as long as someone remembers us. Our goal is to ensure that these great men and women are never forgotten, that our history of professional wrestling will live on long after we are gone. So, with that said, sit back and enjoy the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Class of 2022 Induction Ceremony. The International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Class of 2022. Fred Beal. Tom Jenkins. Alex Aberg. Tom Cannon. Jim Londos. Joe Stetcher. Carl Gotch. Billy Robinson. Steve Austin. Dory Funk Jr. Ricky Choshu. Benicio Tenru and Mildred Burke. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Bill After and JJ Dillon. At this time, we would like to commemorate the wrestlers who have passed away since the last induction event was held here one year ago. Anybody come here from like really far away from another country or whatever? Anybody? Ireland. Ireland? What? Wait, wait. What, what, what part of Ireland? Coney. Coney, Ireland. Okay, thank you very much. That's in Brooklyn. You know, last year. I just wanted to be the guy to tell you that you are inducted into the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. Yeah, the bottom, that. That's the bottom line, son. You know, Seth and everybody associated with the International Wrestling Hall of Fame, it's truly an honor to go in. Uh, I'm in several Hall of Fames, and, and this is one of the ones to be in. So I'm very proud to finally get inducted. I wish I could be there. To uh, International Hall of Fame, Seth, Patty to present this to you. <laughs> tell, tell them what they got here. Uh, here. This piece I'm presenting tonight to the International Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame is indeed a holy grail piece. So without any further ado, 
Seth, will you help me unveil it? What this piece is, is an autograph of Ed Strangler Lewis accompanied with a 1927 Police Gazette poster that came inside of the Police Gazette. So, Fred Beale wrestled against many stars of his age. Farmer Burns, Charles Olson, Dr. B.F. Roller, Jim Parr, and Dan McLeod, just to name a few. But his most notable match was for the heavyweight title against the King, Frank Gotch, on December 1st, 1906. In one of the greatest upsets in pro wrestling history, Fred beat Frank Gotch for the title, taking him down two out of three falls. I didn't write a speech or anything like that. I, I normally try to speak from the heart. Uh, you guys may know my story. You know, um, I was a kid that got in trouble, I ended up going to prison um, when I was a young kid. And uh, I got out when I was like 24 years old. Uh, one thing uh, my brother wanted to do, he wanted to be a professional wrestler. And um, he uh, came to me and said, man, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's get, let's get into wrestling. And uh, I ended up getting into it after coming out of prison. And, and I was like, wow, you know, I got a chance to live my dream, a dream that was like so awesome. Um, and the thing is, when I went to prison, I, I was guilty. You know, our, our next recipient, he was wrongfully accused and um, incarcerated for, for 20 years. And um, I must say, Anthony, um, I'm humbled. I'm humble um, that you would ask me to be here at your side, more importantly than anything, because we're looking at a man who didn't get a chance to live out that dream until last night. But <laughs> he got a chance to do it. But more importantly than that, guys, more importantly than that, Anthony is working with the um, Innocence Project, and he's, he's trying to do um, what someone did for him, and that's get someone innocent out of jail. So many of them locked up that's going through the same thing that he went through. And I commend him for that, because he could be doing something totally different than trying to change somebody else's life. I think that's what this thing is really all about, what Anthony is. Um, trying to bring the next man up. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, without any further ado, I want to bring up the man, the man who has uh, made me look at things so much different. And I've been around 57 years. Give it up for Anthony DePippo. De The International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame is proud to announce the recipient of the 2022 Trailblazer Award, Dan the Beast Severn. Dan was selected due to his groundbreaking careers in both mixed martial arts and professional wrestling. He was renowned for carrying his NWA Heavyweight Championship into the octagon was able to retain the title. I'm not going to say how, but we actually I'm, have footage, Bill. After do we actually have the footage? We have footage. Let, let's see. Let's see if this works. Oh, one of the wrestlers, baby. No one. No one is safe. Get him! Get him! Come on, get him! Oh! 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 Come on, take your best shot, baby. Take it. Take your best shot. Take it. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 One of the greats of USC, and I think that's why UFC changed because of him. And because of him, it became better. My friend, dear friend, Dan Severn, the beast. Yeah, listen, I've, I've met a lot of people that, uh, you know, they have big fancy cars and things of this nature and, and homes, and, and they're up to their neck and hock. I, I always believe that, uh, you know, you stand for a whole lot more. So to be a part of this and to receive, you know, this ring and this placard this evening and to be a part, this Trailblazer Award and that, this means a great deal to me. So to this organization, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much.
Tonight is my privilege and the highest honor for me to award you the 2022 International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Rocky Johnson Medal of Metal Award. Um, I always say it's an atmosphere where everyone really knows how to relate to her, which is not always the case everywhere else. Um, they're, ah, I'm not stopping. <laughs> Um, even places that should know how to relate to her mm. don't necessarily. She gets wrestlers. Uh, mm. Yeah, <laughs> she gets wrestlers coming up to her and talking to her, um, where a lot of times in other places, people talk to me to talk to her. Um, so the respect and just the interactions are amazing to see as a parent. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the NWA Women's Champion, Camille. Yeah, I just want to thank Mildred Burke for all she's done for not only women's wrestling, but wrestling as a whole. You know, she really paved the way for a lot of us, and I'm glad that she's going into the Hall of Fame, deservingly so. Thank you. In 1976, another IPWHF inductee, Giant Baba, would recruit and send Tenru to the Lone Star State to spend some time with two boys from Amarillo, Texas. You may have heard of him, Terry and Dory Fung. Dory knows. He's like, yep, that's me. That's us. So... As opposed to Jake, who was talking about Billy Robinson being the typical polished and very prim and proper Brit, the, uh, the counter to that, the yin to his yang, was Carl Gotch, who never heard the word prim or proper. And the way that he approached life was, he was going to tell you the truth, it was going to be honest, and you were going to deal with it, and you were going to like it, or you were not going to like it, and if you didn't like it, you can move on. Because he said that... Fools only didn't like the truth. And then he would say, but the world's right full of fools. To help induct Dory Funk Jr., let's have a round of applause for the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. If you're a true wrestling fan, a lifelong wrestling fan, if you've studied this business and you don't know the name Funk, then you don't know anything. Because the name Funk is synonymous with professional wrestling. Oh, uh, Teddy DiBiase, I just want you to know how proud we are of all you have accomplished in professional wrestling. Thank you. Your father, Iron Mike DiBiase, was my father's very best friend, and Iron Mike DiBiase gave so much to professional wrestling, and it was a tragedy for me, for my heart, when we lost your father. Just wanted you to know that. I really appreciate the effort of everyone behind the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame and consider this induction an honor. It will be a special memory for me. I love this business and all the fans who made my career in professional wrestling great and a great experience. It wasn't about all my efforts alone. It was the whole team, and I want to thank my beautiful wife, Marty, for all her support. It is exciting to be a part of the IPWHF. I would like to thank Seth and Paul Turner, the board of the IPWHF, and my good friends, J.J. Dillon and Bill Apter, for hosting this event. Thanks to my friend and fellow Texan, Tito Santana, who gave my brother and I one of the best matches of our careers at WrestleMania II, 1986. Woo! <laughs> okay. Thanks to my friends, Mario Savaldi and Davey O'Hannon. I dearly miss my friend, 
Rocky Johnson, in which he could have been here too. This will be my sixth Hall of Fame and most cherished to my peers who are graciously including me in the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. I'm excited to receive the ring and see my beautiful plaque hang in the new, the new Hall of Fame building. Thank you to my friends in Japan, Giant Baba, Osama Nishimura, Jumbo Tsuruda, Antonio Inoki, and Genichiro Tenryu. Congratulations on the award given to Tenryu, too. Thank you to everyone involved. Thank you for my career. All of the wrestling fans and everybody in this room, we've had a wonderful time, and we look forward to being back next year, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>